Remember from the previous slide we talked about starches? Are starches simple or complex? Think about it for a moment. Do you think they break down quickly or do they take longer? That's right, starches are complex. They're complex carbohydrates and they take longer to break down. They usually contain important vitamins and minerals that the body needs. So, what are some examples of foods that contain these complex carbohydrates? Think about beans and legumes, fruits, whole grains, and vegetables. These are all great sources of complex carbohydrates that provide essential nutrients and help keep our blood sugar levels stable. Well, what is fiber? Fiber is another type of complex carbohydrate, and it's only found in plant products, which means you won't find it in dairy products or meat products like milk or yogurt or chicken. Well, can your body break down fiber then? Actually, the answer is no, it can't. Instead, fiber moves through your intestines, helping to break down and digest other food. By doing this, fiber plays many important roles. Let's talk about these roles. Well, first of all, fiber regulates blood sugar. Remember, fiber is a complex carbs, and complex carbs don't cause spikes in blood sugar. This is especially beneficial for people with diabetes as it keeps blood sugar levels stable. The second is that it lowers cholesterol. Fiber grabs onto cholesterol and fats in the bloodstream and helps excrete them from the body. And we'll discuss like fats and cholesterol more later on. And the third thing is that it helps you keep full for longer. Have you ever ate something and still feel hungry afterwards? You probably didn't have that much fiber in that meal. Consuming fiber helps you feel full and it can prevent uh, overeating and weight gain. And lastly, it keeps your bowel movements regular. If you're feeling constipated, you might need some more fiber in your diet. So, what are some good sources of dietary fiber? Think about plant-based foods. Remember, fiber comes from plants. So vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, squash, or even fruit, especially with skin, like apples or seeds, like berries. And lastly, whole grain products. Brown rice, oatmeal, quinoa, cereal, whole wheat bread, and pasta. Oh yeah, and not to mention nuts, like almonds, peanuts, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, and even sunflower seeds. So the question is, how much fiber should you have every day? Aim for about 25 to 30 grams. Most of us will only get half of this amount because of the way that food accessibility is today. But we will learn how much fiber we get each day by learning how to read a nutrition label later on. 